Hello. I just had a Bigfoot slash Sasquatch encounter. And many of you might ask me, why didn't I record? Well, I didn't have my phone. As many of these encounters are, they uh, it was unintentional. I was observing the moon, the full moon, which is mainly blocked by clouds, mostly shrouded by clouds, and uh, you can kind of see the full moon appearing every once in a while, and I uh, wanted to go out and feel, there it is, wanted to feel the full energy of the full moon, and the super moon, actually, and upon doing so, I... I, I don't know, I just, there's this stick right here, I liked its shape, so I kept doing this, and I just, it's bouncing, and I kept walking with it, walking around the yard, and just looking up at the moon, and I, I walked down to the dogs, I'm actually hearing creatures right now across the road, next to the barn across the road. They're making squeaking sounds. One of the cats is actually trying to go after them, but... And my encounter was actually un unknown to me. I did not... I was not aware that the being was even there. I walked to Lizzie. Well, there's some wood knocks. I don't know if you heard it. It went goom, goom. But I uh, did not. I did not know the creature was there. I was petting Lizzie, and as I was petting Lizzie, I um, I looked up at the moon. Lizzie went and laid back down on her doghouse. She laid back down, and there was a black creature when I, I had looked up at the moon first and just felt the energy of the beautiful full moon had my hands out with a stick in my arm this stick in my arm feeling the energy of the full moon and as I did I decided I'm gonna walk toward Lucy I'm gonna pet Lucy the other the other dog I have no idea what that was something just flashed in front of my in front of me I don't know what it was but I went down to Lucy and decided to pet her. And as I started to walk toward her and looked away from the moon, this creature, a large black creature, black, dark black creature, actually about my size. So it was about six foot tall. Not as large as the usual Sasquatch being. There's another wood knock. But... This one was actually right in front of me, and you can't see it, so I don't I don't know why, but I guess they're not visible right now. Um, but the creature was there, and I must have startled it somehow. I don't know how, but I, I the moment I had looked and noticed it, it took off running and just almost stumbling over, but with perfect stride at the same time, which is kind of hard to explain. But as it, as I did as it did, it just took off. It was right. It was hiding behind my brush pile, where I piled up the, the limbs and trees, bushes that I had cut. And it was hiding there. And observing me. And as I noticed, and I feel complete calmness. That's what I feel right now. I feel a Zen calmness, which is very unusual for me. And I felt no hostility from these beings. Unlike last time, they were very angry. This time, no. And I saw the creature and it took off. It was a Bigfoot slash Sasquatch, without a doubt. It was a, a dark, hairy figure. And it took off running from... It was actually p walking toward me without me uh, knowing it while I was looking up at the moon and holding this this stick which I felt a lot of energy from so I was compelled to pick this stick up 
and it, the creature took off running, and it took off into the yard, into the field, went around the uh, the tree that it fell years ago, the ash tree, which is special to me, that tree is, but even though it, it's fallen, and it went around that tree, just took off running, made some wood wood knock sounds and branch breaking sounds and with a crash it was sound it was gone I cannot find my lights right now so I couldn't shine lights I think I was better off not shining lights to bother it because I didn't want to bother it so I stated the uh, the Native American Indian phrase I said uh, blessings from Ankantanka Ankan Akantanka, and Akantanka is grandfather, grandfather or the creator, the source, that's God in the Native American Indian language. I'm not sure if it's Cherokee or, uh, it might be Cherokee, but I know one word, we na, means stop in Cherokee, and I said all the phrases in the name of the Lord and everything, and there was a knock, just like, like, just a knock of wood, and it sounded as though the creatures ran, just took off down through the yard, and disappeared. And now they're also across the road observing me. But Akantanka means grandfather or creator, I believe, in the Native American Indian language. I'm not sure which tribe, I don't remember which language, but... But I said peace, love, and respect if you are of God. And I uh, I can feel this, the energy from this stick. This stick, this particular stick here. I can feel the, the, I can feel something from it. And I can actually hold on to a tree. And as I hold on to the tree, there's something bendy about this stick, but as I hold on to the, the, a tree, I can actually feel the pulsing energy pulsating energy of the tree I can actually feel it pulse and just and breathe I can feel the tree breathing and that's that's me I can actually feel that tree breathing and uh, I do that quite often outside and that's something that was brought up on this uh, radio show and um, Native American Indians talked about that as well but I, if you can feel that, let me know if you know what I'm talking about. But I saw one. I saw the being, the creature, whatever you want to call it. This dark figure, and it took off. It was observing me. But there was no fear from it. I didn't feel any... I didn't feel fear. It took off running from me and disappeared behind all the trees and, and bushes. And then went silent. And I'm continuing to try to observe the moon between cloud cover. Peace and much love, everyone. My links are below.